In this class, we're going to continue focusing on pronunciation, and we're going to work on uh, reading. I'm going to do some reading, and then I'm going to go through very slowly how to pronounce sounds individually as words, how to pronounce each word, and also how to read words together in a sentence. Now remember, the meaning of the paragraph, the meaning of what I read, is not the point. I'm not going to tell you what it means. It's not important right now. I want you to focus on the sounds and I want you to practice yourself. Try to copy the sounds I make. Okay? So, I will read it one time first. When I was a 22 year old freshman in medical school, I spent many days sitting through series of hour long lectures given by a succession of wise elderly doctors, their monotonous voices reverberating through the walls of the lecture hall. Although I never thought anything of it at the time, I now look back with fascination on my ability to accumulate a sizable wealth of technical knowledge with a relatively short span of time. Like a sponge, my brain absorbed enormous amounts of esoteric medical information. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. All right. So again, meaning not important. Let's go back and go through this slowly talking about the pronunciation, how to say things clearly. When I was a 22 year old freshman, when I was a 22 year old old freshman in medical medical school school okay so that's each word now when we read it together in the sentence it should sound more smooth that means it has more flow that means it should sound more natural like this when i was not when i was when i was when i was when I was, nigh, where, nigh, when I, when I, when I was a 22 year old, year old, a 22 year old, year old. So don't say year old, year old. Imagine that the beginning of old is er, not o. Oh. Imagine that. So say rolled, rolled, ye, rolled. Ye rolled, year old, year old, year old, and that sounds very smooth. That sounds good. Okay, so we shouldn't say year old. We should put it together. But the way you put it together is to think the last sound of the first word is the first sound of the second word. So I can cut off the last sound and move it to the second word. Year old, year old. When I was a 22 year old freshman in medical school, medical school, medical school, medical school. So we don't focus on the call, we say it really fast. Medical school, medical school. When I was a 22 year old freshman in medical school, or in medical school, in the medical school, we can put in and med together as well. In the medical, in medical. In medical, in medical school, in medical school, in medical school, in medical school. When I was a 22 year old freshman in medical school. Try to say that quickly. Try to practice that. I spent, I spent many days sitting through series of hour long sitting through series of hour long lectures given by a succession given by 
a succession of wise elderly doctors. Okay, now here's how we can read it in the sentence. I spent, 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 so we don't have to say spent. We can cut the sound spent out. And by taking t out of the sentence, we allow ourselves, or we can, speak more smoothly and make the sentence sound better, more natural. But you can't say spen. You have to make sure your voice suddenly stops. Spent, spent, spent. So you can say spent. That's all right. <clears throat> all right. I spent, spent many, spent many. I spent many days sitting through, sitting through, days sitting through, days sitting through. So you can sort of go from z from days to s, and you don't have to stop. You don't have to say days sitting, days sitting. No, that's not right. You can say days sitting. You just change from z to s, z, z, days sitting, days sitting. I spent many days sitting, spent many days sitting, okay? So that's difficult to go from z to s, but if you can do that, then you can put days and sitting together, and it sounds really good if you do that, days sitting, days sitting. I spent many days sitting through series of, series of, or series of, series of, zov. Remember, we can take the last sound of the first word, series of, series of, hour long lectures, hour long lectures, hour long lectures, given by a succession, or by a succession, by a, by a, by a. By a, not by a, by a, given by a succession, given by a succession, given by a succession, given by a succession. Now, be careful, don't say succession. There needs to be a strong k, k sound in the sentence. Suc, succession. It's the same for success, succeed successful succession succession okay i spent many days sitting through series of hour long lectures given by a succession of wise elderly doctors of wise elderly doctors wise elderly doctors wise elderly doctors when i was a 22 year old freshman in medical school I spent many days sitting through series of hour-long lectures given by a succession of wise elderly doctors. So far, so good. Their monotonous, their monotonous, monotonous, their monotonous voices reverberating 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 through the walls of the lecture hall the walls of the lecture 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 hall okay a succession of wise elderly doctors they're monotonous. They're monotonous. I focus on mona monotonous. 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 The second syllable of this word is stressed. Monotonous. Okay? They're monotonous voices. Reverberating, reverberating. Their monotonous voices reverberating through the walls, through the, through the walls, the walls. I don't say the walls. The is just the grammar of the sentence. And because it's just grammar, we can say it really fast. So usually the grammar of the sentence 
we say quickly, okay? Through the walls, 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 through the walls of the lecture hall, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, okay? So these sounds are together. It's grammar, right? So we can really put these two words together and say them really quickly, okay? Of the, of the, of the. Walls of the lecture hall, walls of the lecture hall, through the walls of the lecture hall, through the walls of the lecture hall, through the walls of the lecture hall, okay? Good. So, although I never, now at the beginning of the sentence, sometimes you can start, bing, up high, to make people who are listening to you feel refreshed, okay? At the end of a sentence, you go down, lecture hall, hall, it goes down. And then when the next sentence begins, so then you can go up again, okay? The lecture hall, although I, although I, so I make this high to say, oh, I'm beginning again, next sentence. Although I never thought anything of it at the time, of it at the time, I now look back with fascination. Although I never thought anything of it at the time, anything of it at the time, so this is all grammar, this section, anything of it, anything of it, we can make it all like one sound, anything of it, anything of it, anything of it, anything of it at, anything of it at, anything of it at, anything of it at, anything of it at. Although I never thought, thought, and I don't say thought, but you can, if you want to say thought, t, that's okay, but you can also take out the t, the strong t sound and just say thought, thought. Although I never thought anything of it at, anything of it at, anything of it at the time, although I never thought anything of it at the time, anything of it at the time, I now look back, look back, look back with fascination, with fascination, 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 fascination. Although I never thought anything of it at the time, Stop, pause. I now look back with fascination on my ability. And again, ability is an important word. So you can stress that word ability to accumulate a sizable wealth of technical knowledge, a sizable wealth of technical knowledge within a relatively short span of time a relatively short span, short span of time. You can say short span or short span, short span. Both are okay. Short span or short span, span of time. We can say this has one sound, span of time, span of time, span of time, span of time. So we take the last sound, mm, and we imagine that n is the first sound of of, span of, span of, span of, span of time, span of time. Now we begin, time. Like a sponge, so the end of the sentence goes down, the beginning of the sentence goes up. Like a sponge, my brain absorbed enormous amounts of esoteric enormous amounts of esoteric esoteric medical medical information information like a sponge we make this a single sound like a sponge like a sponge like a like a like a sponge like a sponge my brain 
we can focus on that word, stress my brain, absorbed enormous amounts. Like a sponge, my brain absorbed and enormous is an important adjective. It means big, right? A huge amount, a lot. So I will focus on that. I will not say enormous. I will say enormous. Like a sponge, my brain absorbed enormous amounts of esoteric. Enormous amounts, enormous amounts, some amounts, enormous amounts, enormous amounts, enormous amounts of esoteric medical information. Medical information. All right. So let me read it one more time. When I was a 22 year old freshman in medical school, I spent many days sitting through series of hour long lectures given by a succession of wise elderly doctors, their monotonous voices reverberating through the walls of the lecture hall. Although I never thought anything of it at the time, I now look back with fascination on my ability to accumulate a sizable wealth of technical knowledge within a relatively short span of time. Like a sponge, my brain absorbed enormous amounts of esoteric medical information. Now, I know you can't understand all. That's okay. It's not very important. I hope you can understand the point that when you put words together, you can't just take a sound out. There has to be something there. But you can put sounds together. You can put words together. And when you do, you make the sentence sound more natural. Now, usually we don't focus on grammar words. And grammar words we say more quickly and we put them together. Like, of it at, of it at, right? Anything of it at the time. Anything of it at the time. Of it at, of it at, of it at. Anything of it at the time. So we say this kind of thing really quickly, but we emphasize and slow down and say more loudly and focus on important words that we find. Fascination, fascination, right? You don't say that too quickly. Also keep in mind if you have a beginning sound and an end sound that are similar or the same, almost the same or the same, you can usually put these together. And if you have one sound, that um, can be thought of as the beginning of the next word. Let's say one end sound that can be considered the beginning of the next word that will help you to think about how to connect the words together, right? How to connect the words together. All right, so if you have any questions about any of this, just ask me on WeChat. I know it's a little bit difficult, but that's a challenge for you. Okay, so practice this, practice reading by yourself. And uh, if you if you need any help, let me know. See you next time.